Hi, this is Justin Hemming, our listing partner here at Mad Real Estate. I wanted to take some time and, and reach out to you to talk about the, the seven things that we recommend you do before getting your home on the market. And believe it or not, it's not too late. Uh, April and May tend to be some of our biggest months when it comes to, to home sales. And right now we're tripping over our buyers trying to find, uh, trying to find homes for them. So give us a call. Um, so number one, what, what can we do to get ourselves on the right foot of getting our home sold? First off, hire a real estate agent. Over the past couple of years, we've been right around 91% of home sales are done through a real estate agent. It's a complicated process. I mean, look at it like, like surgery. You wouldn't want to conduct your own surgery, would you? Um, so having a, a real estate agent work with you through this process is, is one of the best things that you can do. Number two is get a pre-listing home inspection, septic inspection. We want to make sure that we're eliminating any and all surprises for buyers. And many times we can negotiate those repairs up front and set ourselves up for a really, really smooth transaction. Number three is to get to decluttering. You want to make your home as, as impersonal as possible. You want to be sure that when a buyer's going through their home or through your home, they imagine all of their things in your home. They imagine their family in your home. And that's really hard to do when we've got pictures of our family everywhere. Um, the next one is to paint the front door. We've seen some, some fantastic results from, from painting black and, and charcoal colored, uh, you know, doors almost uh, as high as about $6,200 in terms of extra gain for just a different color door. It's fantastic. Uh, number five is to spruce up your landscaping. We want to make sure that, that we've got that fantastic curb appeal. So when the buyer's pulling up, they're just, they're blown away by, by what they're seeing, you know, before they even get inside. Um, the next thing is to get a hold of your utility bills. One of the biggest questions that we get time after time from our buyers is what is, what's it going to cost to live here? How much of the, the heating fuel? Uh, how much is used every year? What's the electricity like? Are we on city utilities? Are we having to pay for water? Are we having to pay for trash? Getting all this information available to the buyers ahead of time eliminates those questions so we can move straight into getting an offer for you. Um, one of the last things is to deep clean like you've never cleaned before. We want our home to to shine. We want it to, to look like we are absolutely ready and willing to get sold. And that's a little bit hard to do when a buyer is going through the home, looking at every single detail and, you know, they're doing a little white glove test and it, it's coming up a little bit gray. So deep clean, you know, as, as much as possible. The, the big question that we always get, you know, about these seven things is, is, is there even really time for that? We're trying to get on the market in, in April, May, you know, so that way we can beat out the Russian in, in June, July, and August. Absolutely, there's time for it. Um, but what we can do is use the leverage that we've got through our, through our system and through our processes to give you that extra time. So you're not having to spend all of your time cleaning, for example. We've got a bevy of cleaners that would jump at the chance to help you guys out. So those are the big tips that we've got for today. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at uh, 452-3000. Take care.